NFL's highest earning QBs with Matthew Stafford number 13 despite big net worth. It's one of the most coveted positions in the world of sport, the quarterback of an NFL team. Not only are those individuals the most important players on the roster and typically the face of the franchise, the 32 starting QBs in the NFL are some of the most well-paid athletes on the planet. On Sunday in the Super Bowl, two of those men went head-to-head -head trying to show they are worth every cent, Matthew Stafford of the Los Angeles Rams and Joe Burrow of the Cincinnati Bengals. Here is a look at where the salaries of those two stack up compared to their positional rivals, as well as the top five earners in the NFL at the climax of another engrossing season. Given many expect Mahomes to succeed the retiring Tom Brady as the NFL's dominant quarterback for the next generation, it was no shock that the Chiefs spent big to ensure their star man stayed at Arrowhead for the long term. In 2020, Mahomes signed a stellar 10-year contract with the Chiefs worth a record $450 million. It was the richest contract ever handed to an athlete in North American team sports and came after Mahomes inspired Kansas City to their first Super Bowl win in 50 years. Burrow and the Bengals produced an inspired fight back to ensure Mahomes and the Chiefs did not make their third straight Super Bowl in 2022, but the Texas Tech sensation will definitely be at the big dance again in the future. If any quarterback can rival Mahomes for excitement, dynamism, and productivity over the course of the next decade, then it could be Allen. The Bills star has made rapid progress over the course of the last two seasons and was just seconds away from punching his ticket to the AFC Championship game in February, only for Mahomes to produce some late magic for Kansas City. Ahead of this season, the Bills secured Allen's future in New York State with a six-year contract. While his annual salary of $43 million may not measure up to Mahomes, the two next-generation stars are poised for many more epic on-field battles in the AFC. One of the main talking points ahead of the 2021-22 NFL season was the future of Prescott. Eventually, the Cowboys were able to get their man to stick around in Texas, with Prescott's four-year extension seeing him take home $40 million each year and a guaranteed $126 million. It was testament to Dallas's faith in Prescott that they extended his contract despite his previous season ending due to a serious ankle injury. He and the Cowboys impressed in the regular season, although they suffered a shock loss in the playoffs to the San Francisco 49ers. In 2020, Watson signed a four-year contract extension with the Texans. At that point, it was the most lucrative in NFL history aside from Mahomes. The quarterback's terms would see him make $39 million a year and $75 million in guarantees. Watson produced arguably the best quarterback season in Texans history the following campaign, but in the offseason he requested a trade away from Houston. Houston opted against a trade and following the emergence of sexual assault allegations against Watson that same year, he did not play a single game for the franchise last season. Wilson is one of the most gifted quarterbacks of his generation and his importance to Seattle was reflected in the offer they put forward to him in 2019. At that point, Wilson's $35 million a year deal was the most lucrative in the history of the NFL. Now 34, and with just one year left on that contract, it will be fascinating to see what direction the Seattle outfit takes regarding Wilson, with some rumors simmering about a potential trade in the offseason. The Seahawks are coming off the back of their first losing season, seven wins and ten defeats, since 2011. Stafford's contract with the Rams was carried over after his trade from the Detroit Lions ahead of the current season and he'll take home an annual sum of $27 million as part of that. Given there's just one year left to run on that term, Los Angeles may try and tie down the 34-year-old to a new multi-year deal soon. As part of that, Stafford will likely receive a salary bump after an excellent debut season with his new team. Given this is only Burrow's second season in the NFL, he is still on his rookie contract with the Bengals. That deal was over four years, and as part of it Burrow will make a guaranteed $36 million, with around $9 million taken home each year. The former LSU quarterback also had a signing bonus of circa $24 million from Cincinnati. When the time does come for the Bengals to negotiate a new deal with the 2019 Heisman Trophy winner, Burrow will almost certainly be one of the best-paid players in the division. Figures are estimate and courtesy of over the cap. App. App.